Tablets are a great tool when you're looking for a screen a little bit larger than your phone or a little bit smaller than the laptop or computer you're typically running. Uh, they're great educational tools, very mobile, and let's face it, they're a great way to keep kids entertained when you need it the most. But tablets can get pricey and not everyone has that kind of money to throw around at another device. Let me walk you through some of our favorite tablets for under $350 that ZDNet absolutely loves. Apple's tried and true tablet, the base model iPad, is arguably the best cheap tablet on the market. Not only does the standard $329 price tag give you all of the same features that you would expect from any of Apple's tablets, like iPad OS updates for years and access to the App Store, but you don't have to pay a premium like you do for the more expensive Pro and Air models. The ninth generation iPad was announced in the fall of 2021, adding an A13 Bionic processor and storage options starting at 64 gigs and going all the way up to 256 gigs if you need that kind of space. The entry-level iPad can be paired with Apple's smart keyboard and an Apple Pencil, converting it from a tablet to a laptop. Apple hasn't expanded its facial recognition hardware beyond the iPad Pro lineup quite yet. And with the iPad Air and iPad Mini now without a home button, the 9th Gen iPad is the only tablet left in the lineup with a home button and Touch ID. Amazon's Fire HD8 and HD8 Plus are two of the most affordable tablets that you'll find on the market today. The company recently redesigned the formerly square and hard edge tablets, adding a more round design that looks and feels fantastic to hold. The tablets are affordable with the standard HD8 priced at $89.99 and with the HD8 Plus priced at $109.99. What's the difference? The HD8 comes with two gigs of memory, while the HD8 Plus comes with all of the standard features the HD8 includes, but with three gigs of memory, wireless charging support, and a faster wired charger is included in the box. Better said, the extra $20 for the HD8 Plus is well worth the investment. The Fire HD8 runs Amazon's Fire OS. It runs Android apps, but you're limited to apps that are available in Amazon's own app store. Like with most tablets in this price range, performance can be sluggish at times, but you'll have no issue shopping, browsing Facebook, or checking your email on the Fire HD8+. Plus. Next on the list, Amazon's recently updated Fire HD10 and Fire HD 10 Plus are both worthy contenders for cheap tablets as well. You have the option of getting the standard Fire HD 10 or buying it as part of a productivity bundle that includes a keyboard and a one-year subscription to Microsoft 365 for $199. Either Fire HD 10 model boasts an octa-core processor, four gigs of memory, 32 gigs or 64 gigs of storage, and includes the bonus of a micro SD card support up to one terabyte. The full HD display looks clear and provides plenty of space for gaming or watching a movie. You'll get up to 12 hours of battery life on a single charge. Like the Fire HD 8, the Fire HD 10 runs Fire OS, so your app options are somewhat limited, but most of the big name apps like Zoom, Facebook Messenger, and Spotify are available. But that also means if you are a heavy Google service user, you will be completely disappointed by the lack of Google apps and services. And by lack of, I mean there are zero apps in the Amazon App Store. You'll have to rely on third-party apps or the Silk browser instead. The Chromebook Duet is a fun tablet turned two in one that doesn't run Android or iPad OS. Instead, it runs Google's Chrome OS with refinements that make it easier to use as a standalone tablet, or you can use the included keyboard to turn it into a more full-fledged Chromebook. At $249, it's on the high end of our cheap tablets list, but the price is quickly justified once you take the included keyboard into consideration. 
It's an accessory that you typically have to buy on its own and you'll pay $100 for that. Google's Chrome OS has grown up over the years, expanding into a full-fledged operating system that supports both Chrome OS apps and Android apps. You can even install Linux on some models. The Chromebook Duet is an affordable hybrid device that gives you the added flexibility of Chrome OS while remaining affordable. You can pick between models that offer 64 gigs or 128 gigs of storage. Depending on how you plan to use the Duet, the lower end model is more than enough for most users since Chrome OS offloads most of the memory into Google Drive. The Lenovo Tab P11 Plus looks a lot like the Chromebook Duet, only it's bigger and more powerful. It also runs Android 11 straight out of the box. It doesn't come with a keyboard attachment like the Duet, but you can pick one up to expand its capabilities for only $72. If you're looking for a tablet to share with your kids, there's a dedicated Google Kids Space app on the P11 Plus that makes it easy to hand the tablet to your child and not worry about what they're accessing. It relies on Google's Family Link parental controls, giving them access to age-appropriate apps and games. At $209, the P11 Plus feels like a real steal. Its construction is solid and its performance is reliable. If you're looking for an affordable Android tablet, the P11 Plus is worth considering. Finally, the last on our list, we have a Samsung device. The Galaxy Tab A7 Lite is a good mixture of affordability and usefulness. It's powered by Android 11 with Samsung's own twist on the mobile operating system. The lightweight design and small display make it portable enough to take almost everywhere, especially if you're using it to keep your kids entertained with educational apps. The Tab A7 Lite has a metal frame for some added ruggedness. It won't be the fastest tablet out of this group, but it should have better performance than the Fire HD8 lineup with the added bonus of access to Google's apps and services. And that concludes our list of the best cheap very affordable tablets for you. Um, if you have a tablet that's under $350 or less that was not included on this list, we would love to know and check it out. Um, or if you're running one of these tablets, we would also love to know that as well. As always, we have links to all of these devices down below for you to check it out and let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick with CDNet.